food is stolen from the market. All right, assembly, assemble a team to find the thief, increase village security. Let's increase village security and see what our this objective is added on to us. Welcome back, everyone. This is Panic Game with Grey West End, and we are bringing you some more Land of the Viking. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and ring that bell for notifications, and you'll always know when we post. We try to post four or five times a week. And also, we are still trying to reach 250 subscribers. Anyway, we're still trying to reach the 250 subscribers. All it takes is like and subscribe, and, you, and one lucky subscriber will get a hat, shirt, and $50 gift card. Come on and join us and watch these videos and let us know what you think and what you like and what you'd like to see. We'd really appreciate it. All right, we're back in our town. Last time we were getting our training camp built up and it finally finished off. So now we need to go in here and start training some troops. So we need light infantry and we need some archers. We need five apiece, so let's go through. And we need someone with speed and power, but we don't want their age to be that high. There's a 19 year old, he, can do, he will work out. Speed and power. There's somebody there with speed and power. Amount of shields, okay, so I don't have the shields built yet, so I can't do that. All right, what about archers? Let's see, on archer we need luck and speed. We get some pretty good luck, it's pretty good speed. We don't want our people to be too old. And we need weapon parts. Okay, so we can't do any training just yet until we get that stuff taken care of. I mean, that means we need to start getting our mines and our blacksmith in place. Do some fairly good trades with some of these uh, people coming in. So we can get some tools and some shields. All right, let's get us uh, some roads built out here to our mines. Uh, drop that road down a little bit. Don't need it to be as pricey. Let's see where we're going back here. Make sure we're going in the right spot. There's our mine. So we got one road built to our mine here. Let's go ahead and get this other road built up as well. There we go. Now let's go ahead and get a few of these trees right here cleared out. Just in this area, make sure any openings, because I'm gonna go ahead and put that, or at least set the blacksmith shop here. As we know, we will be getting those mines going soon, and I'm definitely going to not put this blacksmith as a priority until both of those mines are completed, fully completed. Um, Construction has stopped here. We need to pick that back up as well. So far, oh, we got to get some fields harvested up real quick. It says we can plant here. Yeah, let's plant some barley. We have six farmers. Let's put that up to eight. Um, let's check our warehouses and make sure. All right, so we are getting the armor in. We do not have shields yet. Yeah, yeah, we're doing good on armor, just not enough in shields or um, weapons parts just yet. Here seems to be doing fairly well as well, along with food. Hopefully we'll get all this stuff taken care of and get these mines and everything up and going fairly quickly. So that we can start on our training our troops and everything. Now they are going back here and taking supplies back to these mining areas. Try and get that stuff done. They are on priority. Like I said, we can definitely put in more housing and everything in this area. We already have another doctor up here as well. Probably wouldn't hurt to go ahead and put another warehouse. Really don't necessarily need it, I don't think. But it's better to be safe than sorry. And besides, it'll help make sure that we have plenty of supply up in this area as well however not putting that on a priority just yet i want to get these uh, mines and stone pit and everything taken care of first a little bit more lights in this area here so we can see we do have someone here that's homeless 
let that one go ahead and finish that house up. That'll take care of the homeless down here in this area. Let's check out our jobs. We had 68 laborers. That stuff's going good there. Carpenters, everything looks good. Giving us a chance to plant our wheat. Let's check out our granary here. Wheat granny's almost full. Barley's almost full, so that's doing good. At least we're staying on top of the food issue. That house will be built. And we're going to try to get, we got some more up here already placed to be finished up with construction. So bringing some more supplies into different areas up here. Training camp, like I said, is built. We just can't train any troops right now because we have no shields or weapons parts as of right now. And also, as you see, there's going to be more on the Tree of Life, the Heavy Entry, the Shield Maiden, and Berserkers. So that'll be a, a good thing to see in the future, too. Start seeing basically a whole Viking Horde army. Still too homeless. That house hasn't been completed just yet. And there it goes. Those homeless folks now have a home to go to. Everything's going good. Fishermen are out. Haven't had any trade coming in lately. Big open village. You see all the lights in the houses being lit up. And all the street lights start coming on, popping. All right, that's one thing I do. I can say about this game is the aesthetics and the, the views and everything like that are real, real nice to see. Let's back up this part here and let's see what we can get. Village defense. That's the war dock. Not really nothing for us to do just yet. We're kind of stuck on what we can do. At least when we get to four, we'll be able to start throwing in our defenses. So that's what we're going to shoot for today is getting to that forward, start building up some defenses. Population is doing good. Happiness is doing good. Not doing too good on stone, but we're almost, we almost have the stone pit. I would say, eh, done. It needs a lot more lumber. Let's go have a few people just pick up a few extra stones just to make sure that we stay on top of that. We don't get in, get, uh, don't get behind on any of that. Still waiting on these mines. They haven't really got too much in the way of supplies delivered to them yet. Just mostly the stone pit. And with that, we're waiting on a lot of lumber. So we don't have that much. So we're going to have to do some tree cut. That should be pretty good there as far as the trees go. That should get some more lumber in. Well, once we get some more lumber in, we get some more, uh, excuse me, more timber. We'll get some more lumber out of it. Carpenters are constantly working. Let's set this to 120. They are doing their thing. Firewood is at 250 and holding. 27 beer. Good piece in armor, seven a piece, uh, seven overall. Beer's doing real good, and five overall there. Trade and everything to come in so we can get some uh, iron, I mean, some uh, weapons, parts, and shields. Um, might be able to get some through trade, but right now, the way it's looking, it'll probably be um, through the mines if I can get it in time. All right, our tree of life has hit level four, so let's go up here and check out our village defense so we got wooden walls wall gates and watchtowers Will this be under military yes it is so the watch i mean everything's under the military as far as the little watchtower right there we'll put one there i mean if you're gonna have a, an inlet like this what's the best place to put them may not be placed on the sea i'm not placing it on the sea near the sea so we got two watchtowers in place. I'm not sure if I have to run a road to them, but I'm gonna I'm going to. I'm gonna real thin road right around there to the end. If I can, that is. Do you already have somebody heading back that direction? Here we go. We'll put some lights along the pathway there got some more folks here that are homeless let's get these houses up here going and then we'll jump on that field all right barley you can harvest that barley 
although we're just midsummer, we might not be able to go through with um, doing too much more on the farming. I wasn't expecting that to pop off as quickly as it did, so we need someone with speed. Right, there you go, warehouse. You are up and running. We got some more people coming in than some newcomers. We already have some folks here that are. Yes, they can join. We already have some folks here that are homeless. So let's jump back over here and get another house going. Let's get a few more lined up to be built as well. And let's get one more in here on the corner. A little extra room. Falls that one as well. Priority on this damn stone pit. I don't want to get it knocked out of the way. Mm -hmm. Got somebody that's hungry, and I don't know why. We've got plenty of food. Houses are being built. The uh, tailor is looking for supplies. Yes, he is looking for supplies. Um, let's knock out about four cow. We'll do uh, four goats as well. That'll just help with bringing in some more leather and everything as well. Let's see, we ready to plant? Let's plant some barley. Oh, they are ready to harvest the wheat and the barley is full. Wheat is empty. Is that the, yeah, that's the barley one there and the wheat is empty. So let's do this. I wanna change this around a little bit. Let's put the wheat granary. I wanna put in another barley storage but i want to put it on this side because i'm thinking about taking this field out longer can we squeeze two barley granaries in this little spot i would really like to because i'd like to put both of them right here next to the barley field that way they're out of the way and i have nothing to worry about with them anymore so once these two are built up, I'm going to put a pause on that back one and let the front one get built up. Let this wheat one get really built up because that's the main one right now. Probably will extend the, I want to extend the wheat farm or the wheat field too to over in this area. Just cover this whole northern area. Alright, so let's do this then. Hold on. Stop right there. Let's take that one out. And we're going to put a wheat granary here I don't think we're okay with the homeless situation um, says we got something going on here what's the problem oh we are full let's get back over here to our farm the wheat granary is built we can go ahead and harvest this they have both of these built as well okay so both of these are built I want to get this one emptied out the barley field is already planted, so I'll wait till the winter time to kind of change those over if I can. Pretty sure I can. It shouldn't be a problem. Those. Let's check out what we need up here. Let's get some more trees cut down. I don't know if our watchtowers are even got started yet. They haven't. Stone missing dagger. All right. So let's get that theft and investigate on that missing dagger. Is our stone pit our stone pit is just about finished that be good. so now we can concentrate on getting stone from that area and not have to fight we're trying to hunt it down all over the land but once they get to working on getting these trees and everything down getting the stone that should be finishing up with a stone pit momentarily we do have our watchtower banish earth from the village all right so we're just going to banish air from the village because he stole the dagger. All right, so his family stays, but he is, of course, um, basically banished from the town. So the family for a little while is not going to be too happy with our rule on everything. So we so have to kind of watch for that kind of stuff. Wheat. What must the plant the wheat? And we will. Let's get these trees chop down stay on top of that as much as possible we do have plenty of lumber i'd like to leave a few trees in the village just so it kind of looks nice and everything people it's not just blah with just stone buildings and wood and everything everywhere so we've got that one chopped down too i should be able to put in this house all right still waiting on our watchtowers here 
All right, our stone pit is built. So now we can start focusing on these mines, getting plenty of stone in. Let's get us a few workers over here that got some good power to them. Let's get good power. Probably need to do at least three here. We are ahead on stone, so let's, let's just hold it off on two. Excuse me. We'll leave the two here and see what they can do. As long as they stay on top of things and keep us pretty well supplied, that should be enough. I want to get on these uh, these mines now. Don't know. Okay, we got one that's almost is in the second stage of being built. Our fishing boats are here. Don't see any new ships or anything coming on the horizon. Watch towers are in place and not getting built up just yet. They do have priority on other things at the moment. So priority right now is on the blacksmith shop because we can't train any troops up until we get some weapons and shields in place. That one is priority. And let's make sure this other one is on priority as well it is. Got a, our main village is pretty spread out, lit up fairly well. Doing all right in this area. The upper village near the mines and the pits is doing okay. Got five houses, six houses here ready to be built up. But got to have uh, people come in and put some families in these houses. Now, uh, both of these fields I said I wanted to expand on. And I will probably let them do one more harvest. And then... Um, We'll start on the process of expanding it because we have plenty of money to do so. We want to stay on top of the food, stay on top of the farms. We got, like I said, we having these uh, granaries and everything will make a big difference. I'm not sure what would happen if I was to completely destroy that one with all that barley in there. What would actually happen to the barley itself? Um, let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and finish the uh, blacksmith because there might be a few things that we can uh, go ahead and start working on especially if we do get a trade ship in where we can trade some of those materials needed to get that other stuff done all right so our barley our barley our barley field is ready to be harvested and like i said this is going to be the last harvest of the year because i want to jump over and make this field bigger and get them into those two granaries right there instead of the one on the other side of the mill. And the people are bustling through and getting their jobs done. We do have a blacksmith shop built now. Let's go ahead and get somebody in there and need somebody that is intelligent. And that's who we're throwing in there. We might need it. Let's get us one more. Mm -hmm. So we got two people for the in the blacksmith now. Hopefully our mines will get built soon. That one's on second stage. This one's on the second stage, so we should have our mines built up fairly quickly as well. We are moving on. This, is, this, this city is looking good. I know it's kind of sporadic and everything. I started off kind of like a grid pattern with the roads and then kind of changed it up as the further we went out. But, eh, it's okay. I'll have to do a lot more next time we go to set up a village. We'll make sure it's, uh, we are in year three, day 11, 211 people 79 is our average happiness uh right now we have someone had a relative die and we have fame of over 5,000. that's real good so as soon as i get these people out here to clear this stuff out in this area and anyway i can delete that farm and regrow it or re reestablish it i guess you could say it's completely harvested so maybe i can go ahead and do that oh wait a minute food is stolen from the market all right, assembly, assemble a team to find the thief, increase village security. Let's increase village security and see what our, this objective is added on to us. Let's uh, pause real quick so we can see this. We still gotta build our infantry guys. Build a new watchtower, train at least five new soldiers. Ooh, don't think I'm gonna be able to pull that one off because of not having the supplies to do so. There we go. And we could probably go ahead. Well, says we can go ahead. And, which we probably will go ahead and plant some barley in that area. I need this one right here gone. 
they should pick up the supplies. They should pick up all the supplies that were left there. And yes, that includes all the barley that was in there as well. They should pick that all up. Hopefully they will. We do need a trade ship to come in because we do not have the supplies yet to train troops. We don't have our mines built up yet. I'm going as fast as I can on them. Let's check this one out. It's almost ready. It's got a lot more stone that's got to come out here. And a lot more stone to come out there as well. So on that note, we were going to go ahead and pick us up a, another stone miner. Right, we got some big barley farm now. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah, they did pick up all the supplies because those two right there are about full again. And let's go ahead and get another wheat granary in here. And then as soon as this one here is uh, harvested out, we will jump on that to change that field up to a bigger one as well. You can see all the people running around. Looks like there's a couple hundreds, but it's only 200. We do have someone that's homeless again, so let's get a house built up here. Blacksmith is still hurting for supplies. Neither one of the mines have been completed just yet. Oh, we got somebody missing on the chicken coop, huh? All right, that right there will be done for the chicken coop. We do have our watch our watch tires going up. I don't think I said either one of them. Oh, there's one watch tire already built. So we got that part done. So let's go ahead and one more light right there and the grand torch will put some lights down through well i'm gonna go too crazy going down the wheat side all right we're almost about to run into fall our blacksmiths are still waiting for coal and iron and leather all right it says we can harvest our wheat granary here i mean our wheat field here Let's we'll see if we can. We're going to hold out a little bit longer. Trying to let that grant, that second granary get built up. And then we'll harvest that field. Let's see. Getting full up on food again over here. Would really like to have a damn trade ship come in. We can get some metal or some iron, coal going so we can uh, start getting this stuff for our troops built up. Housing is all looking good. We've got good amount of housing over in this side It'd be a big large viking village with an unstoppable army all right that granary is finished now so we can go ahead and harvest this field once that field's harvested i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna fill that whole top cap right there with this wheat field just like we did with the barley field on the side i gotta have a more oh sure it's live villages now that the village coffers are full of silver and they want their village to have a smoother roads, more luxurious docks. All right, so I got to build some more decorations and stuff, huh? I got to add at least 25 luxury decorations. Okay. Put a couple scarecrows out here by the field. That'll help with the increasing of the happiness and everything in the village. Hopefully that will uh, be beneficial to the people. <laughs> oh, let's go ahead and get all they want us to plant. We're not ready to plant yet. We are ready for you to harvest that deck of tree, though. I didn't know that damn thing grew back. We still got to work on getting some more decorations put in. It says I got a couple people here that are homeless, so I need to work on that too in just a second. All right. I think I got that taken care of. Now, um, what was it? Oh, homeless. Let's get this folks in the home over here. Make that a priority. These daggum mines have still not been finished yet. All right, we got one mine finished. This is going to be our coal mine. So we need some folks with a lot of strength to get in here and get this going. I'm gonna put three people in each one of these mines. So with that being said, the other one should just about be ready to be finished as well. And since that's the case, let's go ahead and get some lights up. And our mine is completed and we will definitely be getting those workers in that 
building. All right, so we need three again, three again. All right, so we are ready to harvest the barley. Ready to plant the wheat. However, we're not going to plant the wheat. Just God bless it. That tree came right back. Matter of fact, let's make sure there's no more trees in this area. No more, no more. Our wheat should hold out through the winter, or at least till we get this tree cut down and can get another uh, field put back in place. But I got to the point where I could show you guys the watchtowers. We got one of them, two of them built in place now, watching our inlet, our docking areas. We have our stone pit uh, completed. Both mines are completed now. I believe. Yep, there's our tree cut away. So let's get this field put in. We will be pretty much set with everything we need to do. Let's try that again. I want to get that a little bit closer to the roadway there. All right. Well, we might be able to get it planted in time. We got both of those going to go, be, go ahead and be planted. There's plenty of time left in the fall to get that finished. We have completely run out of workers in the cattle ranch and the, uh, but we will get it taken care of, get those people back in their jobs. And let's see, I don't think there's anything else that needs to be done immediately. Let's check out our tree of life real quick. Can't build that boy, boy up yet. All right, what about our, oh, almost. So we're gonna do our good housing next, so we'll hold off and we'll get that next time. But this is Panic and Grey with Dan, and we appreciate you guys watching us. Uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. You'll always be notified when we post up some videos. So, until next time, we'll see you guys later.